Hi, I'm Bert with Goalie Eye, and these are some techniques for everyday stretching. I'm here today with the lovely Jess Otera. Jesse, how are you feeling? Pretty good, thanks for having me. Great, thanks for being here. I hear you're a yoga instructor. What do you love about yoga? I love so many things about yoga. I love the way it makes my body feel. I love the way it calms my mind, and I really love to practice. Great, and what are you here to help us with today? Today we're gonna to go over a couple basic everyday stretches that will just help you feel good in your body. Great, can you show us the first one? Yes. Here I'm going to show you Bert's down dog and how he does it. Because it looks a little different on a, on a hockey player than it does on a yogi. So here we have Bert. He's got his hands um, nice and broad, a little bit broader than his shoulders. He's rooting down through his hands. He's got a slight bend in the knee, which is going to allow his spine to be nice and straight. And actually, Bert, I think you should walk your hands forward about four inches. Give yourself plenty of length to extend your spine. And this is a beautiful downward facing dog. So, okay, Bert, we're gonna have you lift one of your legs straight up towards the sky. Yep, it doesn't have to be like a ballerina. It doesn't even have to be straight. It's just a nice lift. And then you're gonna bend the knee and open the hips up towards the right and staying nice and steadfast. So Bert's dropping in his shoulder a little bit here and I encourage you to keep the shoulder lifted and parallel. Yes. And twist the, keep the shoulders here and twist the hips against that. Yes. Good job. Pointed Beautiful, toes. Bert. Pointed toes. Pointed toes. Beautiful. <laughs> and then you're going to swing this leg down and through. So like lower your leg and then bring it through to the left side. Yep, and just rest it on the ground there, coming forward into like a plank position. Yeah, to stretch the outer leg and the hip. Perfect, and then come back to your down dog when you're ready. Definitely ready. Ah. <laughs> okay, so we'll lift the left leg. Sure. Yeah, first just lifting it straight up into the air, Thanks. and then, yeah, first just a nice lift. And notice that Bert does his downward facing dog with a bent knee, so he also does this with a bent knee, and that makes sense. Go ahead and bend um, your left leg and then open the hips up towards the left and watch that shoulder, yeah. Watch that the right shoulder wants to dip and you don't want it to. So just a little push and pull there. Beautiful. And when you're ready, you can lower that leg down and cross it through underneath you onto the right side. Just bringing the foot out to the right. Yep, and then straightening the body like into a plank type position to get a nice stretch along the outer leg. Sure, yeah, do it. Yeah. That'll make you feel nice and long when you stand up again. All right, when you're ready, you can come out of that. Good, you wanna come down for a little rest? Let's Are you ready for pigeon I'm ready. pose? I'm ready. Okay, so we'll step the right knee up towards the right wrist. Okay. And the right foot will come out to the side, however it does. Yep, and then you come down onto the left knee. Back toes are tucked. Yes, okay. beautiful. So you might even be able to scooch your left foot back a little bit towards me, like scooch back, back, back. Maybe walk your hands back a little bit. Okay. Don't hurt yourself. Come up onto your finger pads. Yeah, and see, can you get a little <laughs> light in your hands? Sure. Maybe walk your right hand up to your right like thigh and your left hand to your foot. Yes, get nice and tall. You'll feel that in the left hip flexor. Oh yeah. Beautiful, nice pigeon, Bert, I love it. <laughs> Good, and then walk yourself down. So like walk your hands out forward and either stack your hands up or stack your fists and you can slowly take this nice long spine forward. Yes, 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 bring your forehead right down. And then as soon as you get your head down, you can extend out through this back leg. So untuck your toes, straighten the leg, and start to just allow your body to soften here. You'll feel this in the right hip area probably the most. And a little tip is that people tend to clench their jaws here, or their shoulders, or their brows. So let go of things that don't serve you in this position and let the opening really happen in the hip. Awesome. So when you're ready to switch sides for this, you can gently walk yourself up, plant your hands down um, like you did for downward facing dog, and then press back to your downward facing dog to switch sides. Beautiful. And again, we have him landing in his down dog with a nice long spine and the knees slightly bent. Good job. 
Now we'll step the left knee up towards the left wrist and just notice that the left foot just arrives where it does out to the side. Yep, and then pausing here, come up onto your finger pads, get nice and long in the spine. Notice how it's lengthening the spine out. Yes, see if you can open the heart a little bit. If you can draw the shoulders back some, yes. Beautiful. And then we'll turn it into a more relaxing posture by um, bringing the torso forward and stacking the hands up so that we can rest the forehead on the hands. Yep, and then untuck the toes, straighten out the leg behind you and allow the body to soften. Allow this left glute area to open up and remind yourself if you're holding tension in places that aren't serving you like in your jaw or in your brow to release those areas while you stretch here awesome job bird you can step back to your down dog when you're ready beautiful there you go awesome did it yes that was great Thank you again to Jesse Otero for joining us. Jess, thank, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. You can find information about her online yoga classes with a live performance from a cellist, an easy and beautiful way to participate in an exercise. We'll be releasing another video which stretches specific to goaltenders. Jess will walk us through some things we should focus on before we step on the ice. Be sure to check it out. I'm Bert with Goalie Eye. Thanks for watching.